Greetings, friends. Welcome to another episode of the Black Metal and Brews Mailbag. Uh, you guys seem to like this. I like it. Today we're going to broaden it up a bit by incorporating soda. Um, I realize that the soda videos are becoming pretty fun for me uh, because there's a lower risk of me feeling like deaf after I do them, although still some. So, I mean, I'm never going to retire the beer videos entirely. Uh, but they may be a little more scarce while I'm getting adjusted to new medicine. Um, so, we're going to be trying Big, big Sky. Why are we, I'm thinking of Montana, the state. Sky Valley Root Beer. Uh, it tells me it's organic certified, mind you. Non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and caffeine-free. My first concern is, what the hell does like non-vegan root beer look like? What goes into that? I don't know. I don't want to know. This one has fish sauce in it. So, it smells nice. Smells crisp. Okay, and that color, that's almost like like a dark, like there's a redness to it. You can kind of see in the neck. Uh, oh, which is interesting. I guess that's what happens when you use natural ingredients. It's not quite as brown. Uh, now you'll see that that froth uh, went away pretty fast. But it's still bubbly. You like bubbles. Mmm. And that's really bubbly. Ah, on the tongue. It's almost more like a cream soda just right out the gate, which I'm really into, actually. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually... I, I'm really feeling... It's got apple cider vinegar as one of the ingredients. That's wild. I mean... I'm into some health stuff. We're good. I, I can hang. So I'm going to sip on that a bit. Uh... Maybe comment on a little more. Uh, trying not to uh, show you all my address here. Uh, but so, got mail from... Uh, and the address is crossed out, but it says it's from Copenhagen, or Copenhagen, Denmark. So, we'll see. I mean, the stamps say Denmark, too. Uh, I think I know what this is. We're going to find out. If it's what I think it is, we got some really cool uh, electronic stuff in this one. And I know what that, my other package is today, and it's got some really cool metal stuff. Yeah, this is totally, totally what I thought. So this is uh, a package from Yanishevd, or Janishevd, or however, however you say it, I, which I, I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, great, great uh, experimental ambient sort of label. Uh, some drone. Uh, just, you know, very, very minimalist noise and synthesizer music, which is, uh, in case you haven't noticed, very much my thing. Um, first, uh, we have uh, Lace and Collar's Pursuit, uh, which, the, the aesthetic this label uses is so simple. Most of them are just a basic J card, you know, but they, they just really lovely. That's, I'm not sure if you can tell by the sound. Well, that's not like your average lamb or anything, but it's not paper either. Uh, this is an edition of 150 tapes, which is good. They used to have smaller editions for these tapes, and I feel like they'd sell out like that. And uh, you know, I, I don't like scarcity for the sake of scarcity. If you're if you only think you could sell 20 of your tape, make 20. But if you think you'll sell out of 20 in the course of an afternoon, make 40 or 50 or 150. So, good on you, uh, Yanashev. Please, please, somebody correct me if I'm mispronouncing this. Um, these songs are just called Pursuit 1 and 2. It'll be an interesting listen. I, I, I know the name, but I'm not uh, terribly familiar with Lace and Collar yet. Next up, we have another edition of 150. This is a Gersemin with Haru Sameya. Got a little bit of broken plastic on these cases, and I mean, that, that happens. They came from Denmark. I mean, that's a heck of a trip to make it here to Portland, Oregon. So, uh, again, you know, very, very simple packaging. Really like that art. And all the tapes are pretty nondescript, which I'm disorganized. It'd be really easy for me to misplace one of my tapes. Uh, so, I'm, I've, I've been really careful with tapes like these not to ever leave them out. So, that's uh, slightly suggestive art but not necessarily explicit so I can put this on YouTube still 
Uh, really interesting. Uh, the songs both have would appear to be uh, transliterated Japanese titles, so uh, I'm not familiar with this project at all. I, it, it's it, if it's not new to the label, it's definitely new to me. Uh, and uh, again, I'm quite looking forward to it. I've yet to be disappointed. This is one of those labels where I can tell you all just if you're interested in in these sorts of things. Do it, do it, go for it, because uh, it's top notch. Uh, and we got two more here. Uh, this one is uh, Truce, who is one of the more well known artists on the label, with Surpass. Um, and again, great little layout. We know the tape's going to be white, so I'll just set that aside for a moment. Um, oh gosh, I'm really just loving the, the art, just gets better and better for these. So. Some, I don't know, tropical plants that appears, you know, rainforesty stuff. So the A side is just called Surpass, and the B side is called It is Impossible for Her to Know Whom She Will Discover When I, when I Hold Her. So, I like, I you know, I don't like long song titles with bands where there's a lot of words and the like, but with something like this where it's often instrumental and very expressive. I like giving having a song title that really gives me a thought or a, a a notion for me to follow with my head. I love that actually. It's a really helpful kind of guiding tool. Um, so that's that's pretty intriguing to me. Pretty cool. And the last one's probably the most well known artist that the label's released, which is Internazionale, uh, with Seek Forever. Uh, and that's again really cool art. You got it like a little like globe and compass in there. Um, that's that's pretty nifty. I'm gonna do that. And again, all of these just nice, very simple. Got that little hummingbird and a flower. Is that? I, that's not a hummingbird. A bird and a flower. So in the B side track on your the A side is just seek forever. The B side is called Banners of Sisterhood. Um, really intrigued by this one. Th this act is has long had my attention uh, with releases not just on this label uh, but especially on this label. Uh, there, there's a really good one I believe on Weight of Ages uh, which just Bandcamp page is chock full of goods as well. I'll link you all to it soon. And so this Seek Forever poster clearly goes with that internet Sanali tape. Uh, a little wrinkly and I really don't care. It's beautiful anyway. Uh, there's a little subtext here. This is aligned to X Aligned in ecstasy now and forever. So, kind of beautiful. I'm not sure if they mean ecstasy the drug or ecstasy the feeling. I, I've had the latter, not the former. So. so, this is going flat pretty quick, and that's fine. It's still tasty. Um, I would have liked for it to last a little longer. Maybe if I kept it in the bottle, it would have been different, but I like to pour them so you guys can really see how they react. Luckily, I mean, the flavoring, given that it's not, you know, artificial in any way, it's a little more consistent. I feel like a lot of sodas, as they flatten, really shift in flavor. This isn't really, it's still nice. And a soft vanilla to it, so that's good. A little barky, but not a lot. And then this, you know, hide all our addresses, came from Underground Soundscapes. Very excited about this package. Uh, it's came all the way from Greece. And this label is doing some really exciting things. You don't often hear of a, you know, small run tape labels like this uh, out, out, out of Greece, really, I mean, or out of out of a lot of places. But I mean, Greece seems to have notoriously bad mail, and that's no offense to any of you who live there. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of reasons for that, um, which we're not going to go into here because I'm not scholarly enough to speak with authority. But uh, underground soundscapes has just been really impressing me right at the get-go. Um, if it's not a young label, uh, it's newer to me. In the last year or so, I came to be aware of it, but I believe these are all some, the first five or six releases we're in still. Um, and very, very exciting material. I mean, these are the sorts of bands that you're gonna be seeing on your end lists and the like. Uh, and I'll be doing some reviews on these soon too, because uh, I'm that excited. This one, I mean, and I've intentionally not listened to the digital links because I wanted to have the tapes first. This is Feral Mind with Force and Flux, and look at that. That's like 
biblically dramatic art there. Got a like professionally printed on a uh, red cassette there. Um, and this is yeah a little more your average, which isn't a bad thing. Laminated J card there. So, you know, really really beautiful art. Uh, on the inside, you got something entirely different. This was originally released in 2014, so I'm not sure if this is a reissue or if it's the first time this has been on cassette. Now, these are four hymns to the great god Pan, whose uncanny light illuminates the point where subconsciousness and superconsciousness meet. That alone has me pretty intrigued. Uh, that's, I mean, that's a solid endorsement of itself. You know, sometimes I don't even know why folks like me who do reviews exist when, when there are artists who can describe themselves so well. We'll see if that's actually, you know, as apt as it looks like it is. And then uh, we got... Uh, El Arreira. I, I never know how to pronounce it. Um, very, very beautiful name. Uh, beautiful band. I'm familiar with their work, but haven't heard it in a while. Um... If memory serves me, that's a Watership Down reference, uh, which the the epic crust band Fall of Ephrafa made their whole career around, but I can't recall, and I'm probably wrong. But look at that, you got like, I'm gonna guess that's like a burning forest there. That's, uh, yeah, that's beautiful. Or if not a forest, you know, lit in red. Uh, and then, you know, credits and so on. So that's, uh, Pretty wild. This was recorded in 2014, but no indication that it was released then. So this is, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily the newest material, but it's a new release. Um, so very excited to check that out. Looks like some folks who, you know, of pretty good pedigree are involved there. So pretty pumped on that. And finally, the last thing we will be examining today is new material from Barguest. The first one I heard, they were putting out a Bargus tape, I, I just, I, I didn't even imagine the Underground Soundscapes to be working with a band like them already. Um, Bargus, you know, Louisiana-based uh, black metal act, Baton Rouge specifically, if I recall, uh, who currently or at one point shared members with Thou, I don't know. Uh, all I know is that Bargus' first uh, demo, first album, whatever it was, killed me. Uh, pretty beautifully, uh, great songs, and then the album that uh, Gilly Media put out uh, was even bigger, more vicious, uh, so really excited to see how this turns out, just lyrics on one side, art on the other, uh, it says anti-human, anti-life, uh, and uh, the three songs here are Application of Malthusian Principle, Neo-Promethean, and Leper's Den, is Clearly some pretty heady stuff, uh, which, uh, you know, I really appreciate bands that are willing to uh, get pretty serious with it. Instead of just having, you know, Howling Satan at the Sky as their uh, theme. And I mean, there's definitely a place for that. I love a lot of that kind of second wave aesthetic, but there's something to be said about this. If this is anything like other Vargas material, it's going to be really just raw and venomous uh, with just enough heft. So I'm really looking forward to this one especially. Uh, but that, oh, the description of this Feral Mind one has me totally intrigued. Uh, so I have a feeling i got a good couple of days ahead of me of listening. Um, so this root beer. Uh, and I, root beer is probably my favorite kind of soda. So for what it's worth, this is something, you know, I'd, I'd try it again, maybe drink it just from the bottle, but buy one on sale and see if you like it before you commit to a four-pack. That's what I did, and I'm kind of glad. Um, so, this was Mailbag and Soda. I'm Ben. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to try and film a few more of these as I'm taking a little time away from like serious work for my birthday. So, expect a little prolific period here. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.